Huh. I won't pay more than three for a consumable. Hey, Andrea, is there's no reason I hid my pedestal for that, you scumbag. Look. Eli Manoman had no problem. Ah, Eli Manoman, you're filthy, though. Breaking my pedestal. How dare that scumbag. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Shopkeep 2. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. You guys might recall, Shopkeep 1 the channel. We play this plenty of times. One of my more favorite series to play for you guys. It was just really fun. Running my own shop and talking nonsense the entire time. Now, with Shopkeep 2, they have added so many different things to the game that it's kind of like a complete new game in general. You still run your store, but now you can actually go out into the wild and hunt items yourself. There's an entire big old city where you run around NPCs, you do a couple of quests for them, you see the people coming into your store. There's so much more added to the game, so I'm really excited about this one here. I hope you guys are excited about it too. If you are and you want to see more of the old shotkeep on the channel, you know what to do, let me know in the comments, something about leaving a thumbs up on the video, and we shall indeed do more Shopkeep 2 going forward. For now, let's go into single player. Before we start, though, you might want to see my character. He's right here. Uh, let's go to characters, I already created him. No, don't worry, don't avert your eyes, he's not nude. He's got a little bit of a leaf where the donger would be. This is where we will do most of our ordering, where our deliveries will come in from. We apparently also have fa Father, e <laughs> Father, Father Edward. Uh, Father Edward, that's my store over here. Not looking too banging just yet, but we eventually be able to like grow it out and make it look really cool. Open these doors for me, I'm the owner. Rather empty at the moment. That's to be expected. Okay, so let's not open up shop right now. Let's go over here to this um, furniture vendor in town. Let me pull my map up. Oh my god, look at this right here. Dude, map's huge. So we could probably go out there now and also try to hunt for the rare items to make like different items down the line. We apparently have wolves outside. We have crabs, goats. Ooh, that's going to be fairly cool. Oh no, spiders, I don't like spiders. Okay, so the furniture vendor's like over here, meaning we have to take a left, and then, yeah. Like a left somewhere around over here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through. Where's my stamina? Oh, it's up there. Okay, so green is stamina. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you can't miss them. Furniture vendor right off the bat. Um, I got 150 gold. How you doing, Woody Harold? I'm gonna call you Woody Harrelson. That's probably what they were going for. Some items are purchasable outside of NPC interactions, so we need to purchase a pedestal from the furniture vendor in town. Let's do it. 25? Got it. And apparently my next quest is to place four pedestals in the shop, so let's buy one, two, three more. So now we go, we have four. Facing that away, fairly good to me. And then you'll be over here facing this away, you know. I'm a very asymmetrical placer and builder, what can I say? And then the other two will be like, I don't know, maybe off to the side somewhere. That's not too bad. Oh, 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 Falcon. Wrong one. So, we have 75 gold left over. Um, so, we have four of them. We could probably buy two wooden shoes and maybe two bottles. We can't afford the red mask just yet. So let's do one, two, and one, two. That'll bring up to 64. Leave me with like 11 gold left over. We're barely, we're really broke, but hey, you know what? That's how you start a business. You gotta spend to make money, as they say. So that's been ordered. Oh, I just noticed I have a price gun on my hand now. That's very really cool. How does how does that work? Left control and up. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So the deliveries show up over here. This will be like kind of like the town warehouse. This is where we'll also be able to. Oh, jeez. You just fell out of that portal. Oh, scary. Ordered by Falcon 69. You damn right I ordered that. Over here in the town management, I believe you gotta, like, pay taxes to unlock the alchemist for you to make your own potions. We have a management house, which I believe is here where we're at right now. There's also a blacksmith for us to make weapons, and then we'll also be able to sell food, but we have to unlock these things to do so. The cookhouse is probably the first thing we'll do because it only costs 210, but we have to pay taxes for that if I'm right. So let's see, you sell, or at least you cost me 29, so we obviously don't want to sell it at a zero. Let's go to left control and raise the price up here a little bit. Obviously, the more charisma and the, I guess, when you unlock different skills, you able to sell them even higher. But right now, we're barely starting off, so how about we'll go up to, like, a... You guys think 148% would work? Like a 14 gold profit? Is that good? Go a little bit higher, you're saying? Maybe up to a 152 for 15? We'll do 15. Now, you're my expensive items. I'm scared about people stealing, so I'm going to place you over here and over here. And then the water. Oh, we have a top hat. Can I sell this, too? Well, there's no value to this, but I'll try to s Oh, I can't even place it down. We gotta open up shop, boils. Oh, look at that. 
Open for business. It's a very snazzy looking fella right there. All right, guys. The Falcon. The Falcon store is open for business. You might want to come over here and like peruse my goods. Hopefully not steal. These people are very dirty thieves. Literally dirty thieves. As in they'll walk into the store and by walking in they'll like filthy up your store. They'll break your pedestals over time. So in order to do that we have to, you know, do a little bit of sweeping so the store looks good. People want to walk in and we also have to fix the pedestals by just banging on them this way. Durability up. Get up there. And obviously the higher durability it is, like the more proficient it'll be at selling. I guess people want to see like a very nice pedestal when they walk in here. Oh, we have our, our first customer. I think possible customer here is going to be... Arvidas Manoman. Oh, jeez Louise, you ran pretty fast in here. What are, you, what are you looking at, buddy? You want that water bottle? Huh? Yeah, you do. You want that water bottle, don't you? Don't you dare steal it. Don't you dare steal it. You better buy it. Yeah, we got our first sell. So when selling items, all the funds go into the vault at the management house. Go over there to withdraw your riches and handle your taxes as well. And here's the thing about early in the game. You got to pay taxes in order to unlock the buildings you want to buy. Here we have Daniel Rigora. Okay, all right, a lot of people coming in. Should probably order a couple of extra items, I would say. Oh, you're going for those boots, are you? Ay, he liked the price. Okay, we'll read that later. I'm, I'm watching you, buddy. You better not steal. Good job. Thank you, Falcon69, for helping out. No problem. Thanks a lot for your, your... Daniel, look at what you've done to my store. How did you even manage this by just walking out? I, I didn't even see you holding an apple, number one. Did it just fall out of your pocket? You're holding an apple core in your pocket? That's really weird, dude. All right, let's sweep this up. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's a very nice, stunning afro you have over there, by the way. I have a similar afro myself. Rudanada. You want that water bottle, do you? Go for it. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right, put that broom away. It looks pretty silly. Sir Washington, what's up, dude? I'm back and I want more gold. So he's got some quests for me, too. Cook something. Low-level customers do enjoy their consumables. Try unlocking Cook via the town management and craft something from him. <laughs> and we have water delivery as well. Deliver water bottles to the doors. A hundred gold? Ooh. So what's this one? Just deliver water bottles to the, to the doors? Okay, I can do that. Okay, so we got two quests now. Let's go back and order a couple of items. Ma'am, there's nothing in my store right now, so you, you, I'll be there soon. Okay, so we have the water bottles for sale. Let's see if we can just do that quickly. And then go and set the store up again. So, water bottles for sale. Sell water to the household, yes. Worked. Okay. So, we got one sold. Who else is around here that wants to buy some water? I'm like a door-to-door -door water bottle salesman. Sell you, okay. Back over here, that's for sale. Oh, that's the alchemy, the alchemy shop that we have to unlock. Dude, that is one giant flask right there. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna be excited once we unlock that. What's really cool about this is um, there's a time system, obviously, but you can just open and close whenever you feel like it. Back in the in Shopkeep 1, you were kind of limited to when you could sell, when you couldn't, but now it's like, you know, no holds barred. You can open up at nighttime if you want to, it's all fine. So there you go. Two more pedestals over here. Let's set up the wooden shoes. Wooden shoes. That sounds very uncomfortable, by the way. Um, can we jack up the price a little bit more? Maybe go up to a profit of 20? Because why not? What's stopping me, right? Nothing's stopping me. I'm the bird man. I do what I want. And there it is. Okay, so let's come over here. Let's open up the shop. And we'll go to... Towards the delivery. Hey guys, um... Nighttime shoppers. We got night hours over here available in the nest now. If you guys want to come over here and check that out. So let's go to ordering now. And... Let's see. Can't sell that top it, apparently. Oh, there you go. We can now order the pedestals myself. Very cool. So let's go into... 80 for that red mask, huh? Let's get a red mask and wooden shoes. I'm gonna be fairly broke. Uh, and let's do two of those, really. Okay. You guys coming over here? You better be coming over. I see you over there, which was, you see those glittery eyes? This guy is looking to spend money. When somebody walks into a store and their eyes are like, you know, bright and shiny, you know what's up. I've worked retail before, I know how the game works. How you doing, Adam Regora? Off into the store you are, huh? Okay, we have uh, plenty of items there for you. Now, I have an order over there. Adam, can I trust you not to steal? Can I trust you not to steal, Adam? Because I gotta go pick up an order. We have another person rolling up here pretty soon. Okay, Adam, I gotta, I gotta watch out for you, okay? You kind of seem a little bit scared. Oh, God, it was a ghost. 
Whoa! Whoa what the hell happened to Adam Regora? The wooden shoes were so amazing, he just like spontaneously combusted. Eli Regora? We have a lot of Re we have like the entire Regora family here. No, no problem. Um, okay. Apparently, the Regora family is really big on the wooden shoes. They just live for that stuff, huh? Okay. Um, I'll be back. You better not steal. There's a pair of shoes, Andrea Nata. I got my eye on you. There's a pair of shoes. You better not handle any funny business here. And we gotta place these down so we have to go play some tax. I want to unlock that cook shop as soon as possible. Let's see. I'll place you. Oh, we got the mask, right? We have to set up the price for the mask. So for now, let's just do boom. And boom. Good, good, good job. Thanks for buying that. Now for the mask, let's see. This cost me 80. So let's jack up the price here. Quite a substantial amount. Oh, God. There we go. So let's go up to, like, maybe a 50 gold profit. Do you think that's good? Maybe a little bit higher. Let's go up to, like, 56. And we'll place that right, right, right over there. Okay. Got shoes, shoes, and the mask back there. I don't trust these people, so here's what I'll do. Um, remove that and place it back over here. Very good. I think we had a couple of upgrades too to my skills. We have eight points, so we'll use five to unlock bigger lungs. That means I could sprint. Drains 50% slower when sprinting. Yes, we'll do that. Andrea. Oh, you're you're a female. I thought you were a guy. I was gonna say, like, hey, that's a very nice um touch to your wardrobe there. I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm not even judging. If you want to wear a dress, you wear a dress. Who's telling you not to do it? It's the year 2018. Anybody can wear whatever they want. Who are you? Daniel Danielita. She's a very small Daniela. She's Danielita. Place that over here. Place that over there. Oh, buy the mask. Buy the mask. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Oh, she put it on instantly, too. <laughs> no, no. Thank you for your patronage, Danielita Regora. Ah. Uh, Danielita, was this you? What is it with you guys and apples all the time? Ah, oh, look at this guy to sweep up. Danielita, I'm, I appreciate the patronage, but don't filthy up my store. Darn it. Okay, so let's put down water here. Water here. I know how to sell. I need, I, I need to sell some, obviously, but we'll just make another order right now. Plus, we got to pay off for that mask that we just sold. Let's go over here to order scroll again, and let's get five of you for a fact. And then that's... Pretty much all we can afford. Let's do the wooden shoes we're at it. We're about to get some good money here pretty soon. Do you have any high priced items other than the shoes? Shoes and shoes and water. You're going directly towards the shoes, which is good. I'm just gonna keep my eye on you though, because I can't have you dashing and running right now. Or grabbing and running. Thank you. Okay, we can leave now. I think we have enough time. My order's here. I'm not sure if I should run off and sell water just yet because maybe I'll do it once the ah God stop it maybe we'll do it once we sell those shoes which apparently Elijah juice mamon manoman is gonna buy those I like how you're buying shoes but you're not even worrying about the fact you got no shirt on dude it's really chilly out there you might want to look into that ah I won't pay more than three for a consumable. Hey, Andrea, is there's no reason to hit my pedestal for that, you scumbag. Look, Eli Manoman had no problem. Bad Eli Manoman, you're filthy, though. Breaking my pedestal. How dare that scumbag. Let's fix this durability up. Savages. I'm in a town full of savages right now is what's happening here. The durability up. Get the durability up. Okay, let's set down the shoes. Number six. No, that's the hat. Right over there. You gonna buy that water? Good. Going for that water? Good. Let's let let me give you some time to go sell some water. You better not grab and steal. What are you guys doing? Did you guys disappear? Did you change your mind? You probably kicked my pedestal, didn't you? Can I sell water here now? Was recently used. Oh, I gotta find different places to sell the water. All right, we have sh um, shoes over there, so we gotta be really careful about that because these scumbags, I don't trust them. Sell that. Okay. So one house. I really don't like leaving my place alone right now, but gotta do it. Ace and easy gold. Uh, the shoes are still there. Yeah, so that nothing's been stolen. Perfect. So now that I'm here, let's, uh, well, we should probably pick up gold first. Because I do even like the price of that, maybe? I guess. Oh, no. 
If it's so great, she just comes spontaneously and busts it again. Let's see about picking up some gold here. Money vault. 233, that's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. But taxes first, right? Hold up, hold up. Tax control. Uh, let's go even a bit faster because I want to get that unlocked soon. So, payable amount of 108. That's good. And money vault. 124 left over. Withdraw. We're at 254. Oh, we could probably buy it now. Yes! We got the town cook now. Oh, we get upgraded for 4.8k? Well, that's not gonna, not gonna happen anytime soon. But we have unlocked the cook shop now. Um, I'm... Actually, I still have some money left over, oddly enough. Alright, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have shoes and water bottles over here. Can I trust you not to steal the shoes? Eli Gijus. Eli Jijus. Where's the cook again? The cook is... Straight down this way. If somebody grabs and runs, I should be able to spot them. I'm gonna trust these people not to steal, though. Right, the cook's over there. Okay, there it is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi! Hi! Oh my god! Clean this pigsty up! Look what you've done! Consumable? Cool. So you're the guy, huh? Interact with Morgan Belland. <laughs> Belland. Alrighty. Uh, get the frick out of my kitchen. As a matter of fact, my friend, this is my kitchen now. I bought it. Let's make some food cooking. Uh, oh boy. Well, what's happening? Oh, something's on fire next to me, it seems. Uh, bread common. Select recipe. It requires milk bottle and wheat. It requires wheat and milk. So, can I... Should I just grab these straight up? Milk? Oh, you can just buy them over and over from you. I see. So, it said one milk and two wheat. Correct? And we're using our money to buy that, even though I own the place, oddly enough. So, bread... Okay, so you hit on crafting, maybe? There it is. So we have one bread bead made. And we have two... How do I get more recipes from you, then? Hmm. Well, I'm getting the quest done. So, take the bread. And that quest is now done. We received bread. Cook something, quest completed, 25 gold. Very good. And you have quests for me now, too. What do you got now? More bread. Cook some more bread and I'll let you see more recipes, as well as allowing you to order bread requirements. Very good, so reward will be the bread pack. Accept this quest over here, make some more bread. We have to make ten bread, do we? We could do that, we have enough money for it, I think. So, uh, we need nine more. So that means nine milk and eighteen wheat, if I'm correct, so... Let's go. Nine. That's good. And then, oh, eighteen, that's gonna be a lot of money with this one here. Well, we have some stuff to sell, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. So poor. So freaking poor. There it is. 16 gold left over. Uh, let's make some food. And bread it is, and we want to make nine more. Oh, I gotta pay you to pay you to make them as well. Oh, dude. Okay, let's make five for now. And meanwhile you make this, you will continue running, correct? Yes, you are. I need to go and probably sell this bread to make some more money here. I guess I'll pick up this, what you have, we'll go sell, and then we'll come back and do the rest of them afterwards. Are you just about done here? Well, I mean, you're cooking five bread, so I guess it takes a little bit more time. Come on, buddy. Rush it up, I have a store to go look after. How does the bread work? Do I just put it in a pedestal? It feels really unsanitary, like, don't I need, like, plates or something? You can imagine you need plates. Or like a wrapper of some kind. Okay, so we need to make four more. But before we do that, let's go back home, which is gonna be... Oh, where's home again? Up there. Or not home, but the shop. Whatever, I live in my shop. What about it? Alright, I got six bread for sale here. Apparently the people like to buy bread. They like consumables. Um, War 25. Ooh, we'll make a lot of money off of this, actually. Yeah, you put it in the pedestal and there it goes. <laughs> okay. So let's jack up the old price here. And we'll go up to 184, because why not? So, place it. Oh, place it. Place it. Oh, uh -huh. Ah, look at this store. Filthy now. We have two more bread that we gotta put down. What the hell is happening here? Oh, you're about to break! Somebody's been kicking you! No! That's what it looks like it's about to break. I thought, like, there was, like, ghosts under my table just fighting each other or something. Alright, just go and get the durability back up. These scumbags. They've been over here beating up my store while I've been gone. You wanted to buy some water and you changed your mind, huh? Well, what about the bread? 
the bread's a better investment for me, so buy that. Uh, let's see here. Let's remove you and put down bread. And we'll also remove you for now. And put down bread. Okay. Apparently, I've turned my shop into like a bakery. We're not. We're doing nothing but selling bread now. But each one should bring in some good money, assuming they sell. It's the you know we're heading towards evening, nighttime. You guys might be getting ready for dinner. You might want to come over here and buy some bread for dinner. You know you gotta break bread for dinner, right? So come on in there. I got six delicious pieces of bread waiting for each one of you. Ruda, I see the look in your eye. You want that bread, Adam? You're looking for that bread too, huh? Is the price too high? I hope it's not. I did go a little bit overboard with it, but that's okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Great purchase. I'm glad you found it that way. So, now we should have enough to make the rest of the bread. Cool. Well, I think we're out of time with this one, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. As I mentioned, if you want to see more shopkeep, do let me know. We'll definitely continue going forward. We still haven't gone outside to hunt. There's still a lot of things to do. We have a lot of things to unlock, so this could be a fun journey. So, just let me know if you want to see some more, and we can definitely... Do that going forward. Need four more, I said. Crafted. Oh, I need to pick up the money that I... Yeah, yeah, okay. I, 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 I forgot about the money picking up at the thing. All right. You guys know the routine, though. If you want to see some more, let me know. I will catch you. Next time, don't you steal my bread! Don't you dare do it! Hey! Whoa, what are you up to, huh? Huh? Buy that bread. Don't mind the, buy the bread, huh? All right, I'll catch you guys next time.